Hi, my name is Blanca Cervantes and this is my daughter Izzy. Um, I just wanted to share my testimony of how I came to the way. Uh, three years ago, I was in a very dark place. I was um, depressed, angry, anxious, couldn't sleep at night. Uh, and I was at a brink of divorce. I prepared my divorce papers. I had them in my vehicle ready to drive to the courthouse and I hear God tell me, wait. And I'm like, wait for what? What do you want me to wait on? There's no hope. There's no hope for my marriage. There's no hope for me. There's nothing left. I just, I don't want to wait. I don't know what you want me to wait on. Watching my mom like go through all this, uh, in the midst of that, I was uh, partying and, and living kind of a reckless life. I, I didn't really care for church. I believed in God, but I didn't have that intimate relationship with Him. Um, and then I got invited and my friend was the one that introduced uh, my mom to the Way app. And, um, uh, and watching my mom grow and her like setting um, boundaries and rules for our home, you know, fortifying our home. Uh, it really helped me build on a foundation of Jesus and, and um, for like the first five months of us coming to the way, I, I could just remember like going to the club on Saturday night and then showing up to church Sunday morning and uh, it, was, it was a really terrible lifestyle, but God kept tugging on my heart and my mom con continued to uh, seek the Lord and pray for us, for, pray, for, pray for my brothers and I. and. Um, through her prayers, through her uh, learning that she needed to focus on herself, um, I was able to watch her and, and learn from her example. I was obedient and I waited. I didn't, I didn't go to the courthouse. Um, I had somebody show me the Way app. And uh, I started, I watched one of Pastor Marco's sermons and it brought a lot of peace. I woke up my kids that Sunday and I said, we're going to church. We're going to try, try this church in San Bernardino. I fell in love with God again. I fell in love with this church. I fell in love with Pastor Marco and his teachings. I'm able to get my peace. I was able to, I am able to sleep at night. I'm able to have faith and, and, and believe because I know that God's word never comes back void. I'm praying that my husband would be changed, that God would fix my husband, that he would transform him, that he would make him a better man, make him a better husband. That, and as I'm praying all these things and God's revealing things to me, he's telling me, I need to change you. I need to change your, your heart. I need to make you a better wife. And he promised me my husband. And he's not coming yet, but he will. He's not only gonna give me my husband, that he was gonna give me my children my whole family would be coming in surrender. And right now, my, my kids are serving and loving the Lord. Uh, leadership University, we, we, after, after taking all the classes, we all became coaches um, at Freedom and um, Purpose, starting at the way yeah. we've coached in all these uh, discipleship classes. And then now we've been uh, one year in, I believe, in Leadership University with my kids. So that's amazing. We're really grateful for the way. We're grateful for all the leaders, for Pastor Marco, for Maurice. Um, and we're just so grateful that we found this, this place that loves everyone. So we're grateful. Wow, what a message. What wow. a story to come in from. Oh, I love it. You know, as we're walking around here doing ministry with everybody, when we see the fellow people that we're doing ministry with, it's just like, I did not know you went through that. Exactly. It makes a person my size or my statue like break down, just like, I'm sorry. Right. But then again, it's like this. I'm not sorry because you went through something not just for yourself. She went through that so she could be a storyteller for someone else that could be on the verge of being disobedient. Well, she actually was a tool to help bring her daughter in because of the change God made in her. I love that. You know, when I think of the story that she told, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their yes. strength. I take that scripture as like, I just need to wait. Yes. It's not my will, That's right. but it's God's will to That's be done. Right. And if I do God's will, the fight's fixed. That's right. Imagine that, the That's fight's right. fixed. That's I've right. never been in a fight where it's already fixed. That's right. Unless someone's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, she trusted God. God said, wait. She didn't know how long, she didn't know why, but she did what God said and God did the rest. God said, do this. 
I'm not focusing mm -hmm. on your husband. Right. I don't want to focus on the house. Right. Not even your daughter right, right now. But if I focus yes. my spirit right. on you and right. getting you obedient, right. then guess what? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. That's right. And if we do exactly what exactly. God wants us to do, then we are guaranteed to be prosperous. We're guaranteed to do what God's will to be done. We're guaranteed to be victors and not victims. Absolutely. Blanca is, is a beautiful example, and Izzy, her daughter, of two people that I think are part of bringing a vision to pass. Pastor Marco had a vision as we were giving towards the purchase of this building, and he saw many people looking through the window needing help, desperately needing to be rescued and desperately needing to be helped. And I believe that, you know, Blanca and Izzy were part of the people that Pastor saw in his vision. And today, they're able to come to this campus because of our giving, because of faithful tithes and offerings. So now they have a place where they can come and be restored, where they no longer have to be divorced, where, where Izzy no longer has to worry about being out partying, you know, with her friends. And now she has a wonderful life and a wonderful future. You know, I love that. You know, when you think about what happened there, it started with someone being obedient. Right. Once she got obedient, her household got corrected. That's it. And when the household's corrected, now they can go out there and minister to right. many different people. Right. Not just alone, right. but she could take her whole family. Right. Her family is a story behind what she went through right. by how it looks now. Right. So she's just not saying it. She's actually living it. Right. God is actually, he showed up right. and he showed out. Right. And when you see that, it's like, what else do you want to do? I don't want to be disobedient. Right. If I'm a disobedient, that means I'm doing it my way. That's right. If I'm doing it God's way, then guess what? I'm going to be doing everything his way, which means everything is going to be looking up. That's right. And this change, and we see Blanca's life, we see Izzy's life, we've all been part of allowing God to do that through our giving. That is. And we have multiple ways that we can do giving. You know, one of the ways is through the app. The app, you know, some people say, oh, that's for the newbies. It's for everyone, <laughs> but the newbies too. You can go on the way, uh, on the app, and that is tap the give buttons. Once you tap the give button, you can actually type in whatever God has put on your heart to give. And then we also have the way.gives with S. The oh, way dot gives. That's right. That's right. I, the way dot gives, you can put it on any browser, on your computer, on your phone. It'll take you straight to um, our giving platform. You'll be able to fill in the information, and within seconds, you'll be able to give to the Lord. Well, there are another way. Yep. Some people say, oh, that's the old school way. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We need the old school. We need the seasoning <laughs> and, the, and, right. and the flavor that's of the food. Right. So we have the older school way, which says, if you want to just drop it off, you can. Yeah. We have both campuses that are available. That's Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. That's the downtown or the Hallmark. When you do that, we'd love to see your face as well. That's and right. if you really want to take it next step further, if you need to mail it, please mail it. That's it. That's it. All right. Love it. You know, one thing with us when we're gathering together and we're talking about this time of giving, everyone can participate. It's just not for one person, but right. anyone at any age yes. can participate. We love you. We thank you for what you have done because what you have done is changed lives forever. And when we go from here, we're going to go into a last song. You can still pull out your, your mm -hmm. gadget, That's pull out right. your phone, yep. your tablet, and go ahead and go and continue to give. We That's have three right. ways that are on the bottom of the screen. We love you. Love you.